It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. It's time for another Blade beer. It was only a week ago we did our last Blade keg. Uh, in between reviews, I mean. But I um, had a bit of a, a do on Saturday just gone. And I nearly drunk an 8 litre keg to myself. It was a 12 hour session. And uh, unbelievably, I nearly drunk a whole keg of 8 litre keg of, of, of Blade beer in, in a single day. Um, I polished it off the rest of the keg at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. So we're back with another one. This is the Villacher Marzen. It's from Austria. It's 5% ABV. And I'm now going to show you how to load the keg into my blade machine. So, first of all, I'll put that down for a moment. Take the top off. The blade, I've switched it on, all set to go. Lift the lift the tap down. Turn your keg. Now the one thing I will say about the blade keg is when you when you're loading them, they can be quite heavy. So there's a technique to it. I'm going to show you the technique. So take the nozzle off. Push down your button on the top. So you're only touching the orange bits and pieces on your, on your keg and your machine. So push that down. Grab your keg. I like to put the, the hose or the line, the beer line, in between my fingers, like so, and then you've got more. You don't want to trap the line there. You don't want to trap your line. So feed it in. Make sure you don't trap the line. See, there's an orange part here on your blade. Feed the line down. Click it into position. Close your tap, put your lid on, turn the machine on and you'll hear it locking. And then you have that satisfying drum noise, like that deep sounding bassy sound of the blade keg being locked into position. So what I'm going to do now I've, I've, oh, uh, another important thing, please pre-chill your kegs. I've got a little beer fridge down here that I put my keg in last night. I've left it 24 hours, 14 hours actually, 14 hours in the fridge. Let it get down to a nice temperature, get it into your machine, and then you're not overworking your cooling system. You can overwork your cooling system in your fridge, it's built for it. But your blade beer system, personally, I pre-chill your kegs if you've got room for it. So that's, that's chilling down now. Uh, you can turn your light on if you want. It's daytime, you're not going to see, see too much. Uh, the next thing we're going to do now, let it cool down properly and come back and show you the beer. Okay, so the beer is nice and cold. Just going to pour a little bit of beer through the line. Just a little touch. When I always put a new keg in, just pull the line through a little bit. Um, there's no added pressure on the, you know, there's, there's no air lock and you pull the beer through into the line. What I'm trying to say is, in a long way about it, is that you're gonna pull a nice pint. If you just pull some beer into that line. Oh, that was a, um, a long way of pouring it, wasn't it? Right, let's pour this beer.
Look at that. A nice steady rolling carbonation up the glass. Two finger white head. Golden amber coloured beer. An Austrian Marzen then. Of course the Austrians. Big influence from the German brewers. Looks really nice. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, it's got a nice crisp. Hoppy, a traditional, maybe Saz hop aroma. Quite stinging nettly. Light, a little bit of sweetness from that crisp malt, wafer-like malts. Oh, it smells good, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Really crisp, really refreshing. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's a really nice Marzen. So an all malt lager, all malt lager, slightly darker malt as well that's coming through, they brewed the beer with, and you get a sense of that, a little bit of biscuitiness coming through from the malt. It's a very, very tasty beer, nicely balanced. That balance between the little bit of sweetness to begin with, a little bit of bitterness on the back end, that stinging nettle hop is coming through in the flavour. But a 5% ABV, really refreshing, really refreshing beer. Nice stuff. I'm just going to give you a little bit of, uh, about the brewery. Um, Villaja Marzen uh, is brewed by Verint Kartner Brewery. Brewery. Uh, Oktoberfest beer, Marzen style beer from Austria. Uh, serve it in a Stein mug. Uh, it's won an award as well. It, it won two awards in 2014 and 2015, uh, two gold medals. And a lot of the ratings for the beer are in Austrian, the Austrian language. So it's really, it, it's really nice that we're able, I'm loving this Blade beer machine because there's new beers coming out all the time for the Blade now. And I like the fact I can just bang a keg in there. So last week, for example, I talked earlier on about last week drinking a whole keg. The rugby was on. Two o'clock in the afternoon, sat down, watched the rugby, I thought, right, let's get a quick glass of beer. Out through the conservatory doors, out into my bar, quick pint, take it back in, rugby. Back and forth. Bish, bash, bosh. Once that, once that keg is, is, is lined up and cooled down, absolutely spot on. Much quicker than bottles and caps and looking for the bottle opener and recycling and all that other stuff that you have to do. I just... When I was umming and ah, I do a lot of umming and ahhing about purchases. I'm a man, I do that. We, we do that as men, we um and ah. We're a little bit more kind of um, careful with our money, I think, than, than, than our, our female counterparts. And, and that's just having a bit of fun, that's having a bit of a laugh. Please don't inundate the comments box now with... Um, with, with, with your, you know, blah, blah, blah. but anyway, um, the, the, the doubt that I had was, was I going to use this machine or was I going to use any of this, these machines as much as I thought I did? And to be honest with you, 
I didn't think I'd have this much use. I've had loads and loads of use out of these machines and um, it's probably one of the best investments I've done as a middle-aged man. As a middle-aged man who doesn't really Xbox anymore, that, that passion kind of like flickered away in my late 20s, early 30s. Um, I'm more of a barbecuing, put some beers on the machine. I'm that sort of person now. So um, it suits my lifestyle. It really suits my lifestyle. If you think you're ready for one of these machines, I cannot praise them enough. Whatever you choose to go for, the Krups, the Perfect Draft, the, the Blade Beer Machine, I love them. Thanks for watching. Let's rate this Marzen then. I had the Gosser Marzen for the Blade. And I must admit, I think I preferred the Gosser Marzen a little bit more than I'm, that I'm uh, enjoying this, this Marzen. This is drinking more like, although you're picking up the crisp malts and the nice hoppiness, it's drinking more like a regular lager. Whereas the, the, the other Marzen that we had, the Goza Marzen, was, was a, it had a little bit more body to it, a little bit more of a, a malty mouthfeel. This is on a little bit, if I was going to be critical, a little bit on the watery side, but it's still worth a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.